Ah, hold on to your seatbelts. Ah, oh, ladies and gentlemen, please, because I'm going to make somebody mad when I say this. It's going to be a whole lot of people getting pissed when I say what I got to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. And this is serious. I'm, I'm going to say it. We, one thing that we have to change about religious culture in our community, oh, I'm about to make y'all mad, is that we demand everything out of God, but don't demand anything from ourselves. We go to church and you beg and beg and beg and beg and beg and plead and demand things out of God. You pray and Lord do this, Lord do that, Lord do this, Lord do that. But what you don't do is make up in your own mind that I'm going to change my behavior. I'm going to do what I need to do to, to, to yield the results that I want. The funny thing about it is your life don't change until you realize the prayers that you've been praying are already answered. They already answered. Everything is, is already there. Everything that you want out of life is already there. The people that you that, that you need, God already done created the people. Everybody that's going to help you on your path is already being created. That's how magnificent he is. The people that you need in your life to help you get the way you're going, those non-toxic people that have acquired the information that you need to help better yourself, those real friends, the people that just want to want to see you succeed, God created them 30, 40, 50 years ago. They've been waiting on you, and here you are praying, but you have not looked in the mirror. You have not looked inside yourself and said, I'm going to change my behavior. I know somebody who was trying their best to pass the bar. Can't pass the bar. Been trying for years. Can't pass the bar. Why? Because you won't stop smoking. You won't stop drinking. You won't stop hanging out. You won't stop doing the things that are necessary for you to do. For you to be where you need to be. You got to cut some stuff out. You got to make some changes. You can't get on your knees all day long. Lord, do this. Lord, do that. Please, Lord, this. And please, Lord, that. And yabba dabba do. Rolling around on the ground. See, blah, 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 all that. That don't mean jack. God responds to action. He responds to action. Yes, communicate. Say this is what you want to do. But you got to be, you got to have a conversation with yourself. You got to have a conversation with yourself. You, hey, look, this is what I need to do. What the, the, the people who have what I want, what are they doing? If they getting up at four o'clock in the morning, then I need to be getting up at four o'clock in the morning. If they running every day, I need to be running every day. If they putting away $5 a day, a five dollars a week. If, they, if they, hey, I'm, I'm getting ready to. If they investing this much, I'm gonna invest that much too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take some money out my check. And if I don't care if it's ten dollars, I'm gonna put ten dollars on something. I gotta do something. Oh, it's gonna take you forever if you do. You don't know that God responds to action. If you start putting up ten dollars, you don't know where some money may come from. God responds to action when He see okay. My, my child is over there preparing for me to bless them. So because you're prepared for the blessing, you're going to get the blessing. But you can't just talk and just want it. You got to prepare. You got to you got to have a conversation with you. You can't just just be playing. You got to conversation. You got to have that conversation with yourself. Don't be demanding stuff out of God that you haven't demanded out of you. Because he done did his job already. He done done it. He done done it. What more do you want? You wake you up in the morning. You got life, health, strength, sound mind, sound body. I done put enough food here for you. You got water. What you want? Ain't nothing wrong with you. What you want? You got to demand it out of you. You have to demand it, demand it out of yourself. Figure out how you can manifest it. God has done his part. You, you figure out how to do your part. You wonder why things don't work because you, you not doing your part. Everybody else wrong. 
You mad at God. You mad at this person, that person. You need to be upset with yourself. Hold yourself accountable. You demand it out of you. Don't be, don't be getting mad at God. God did it. He done did everything he's supposed to do. It's your turn. Have a nice day.